Elgato! Hola, Elgato! Oh, hola! Mi amo es El Vero Bundo Pupo Dos. And I'm here on behalf of one Hobo Tom to talk to you about my predictions about the Money in the Bank pay-per-view that's going to happen this weekend for WWE. But first of all, hit my music. So let's start off, folks. Let's see here. I have things written down. Oh, what happened on this computer? Yeah, whatever. Don't even care about that right now. So much stuff happening. And Hobo Tom was nice enough to let me use his equipment, so I guess I would check his other stuff for him. So let's talk about money in El Banco. Dinero in El Banco, as we say in Mexico. So first of all, this is going to be a very unique Money in the Bank match and the fact that it's going to be taking up top on the roof of the corporate enterprise in Stanford at Titan Towers. And the men's and women's matches are going to be taking place simultaneously. So that's going to be muy muy bueno. There's going to be 12 people. There's going to be chaos. As long as they do not commit federal crimes. Like AEW did last night. So again, you cannot steal money from an ATM machine. Just can't pocket that. And there's vehicular homicide. Involved. So again, indeed. But for Money in the Bank, see here, my predictions on the men's side Otis is going to uh, get the Money in the Bank briefcase. I wonder. Mandy Rose is in, in the match. I wonder if Mandy Rose just might be using the woman's bathroom. During the smash? I don't know. And somehow help Otis gain the money in the bank? So Otis and therefore will be unique because I think Otis will actually use his money in the bank to get him and his tag team partner, Tucker Knight, a shot at... I forgot to add something. A shot at the belt. And then on the woman's side, I guess it has to be Shayna Baszler, so that she can start feuding and take the belt from Becky Lynch, because it's been rumored that Becky Lynch is going to go into acting. And more importantly, let me put this little note here, this is going to be... If they do it right again, just like AEW did their unsanctioned brawl all over Daily Center, in Titan Towers, it could be really interesting. I think someone is getting launched off that roof, and there will be a industrial crash head at the bottom somewhere. This is going to be me. Match of the night. And then we get into some title matches. So we have Braun Strowman taking on Bray Wyatt for the Universal Championship match. The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, is going to defeat Braun Strowman. And he's going to get the Universal Champion. And maybe on the Raw after. We'll see a new puppet 
or a new Puppet Master. So Bray Wyatt wins the Universal Championship belt. Um, then we have Bailey versus Tamina. I think now that still up they can do Sir May, June, July. Tamina, because she's been a very steady worker, is going to defeat Bailey. But you know what? I probably won't be watching this match. I'll be, this is going to be the one match I take a nap through. And then, ooh, in my stone cold lock, Drew McIntyre. Takes on Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship. There's no way in Fuego that Drew McIntyre loses this match. That Drew McIntyre wins. In fact, this is my stone cold lock. And then, some other time, there's going to be the New Day. I mean, for the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, there's going to be the New Day taking on Miz and Morrison, taking on the Forgotten Sons, taking on Lucha House Party. Mm. This could be interesting. I think just because you have to do something with Miz and Morrison. The New Day don't necessarily need the belt. Lucha House Party's not winning. Unfortunately, they never have little Luchidors winning. Right, El Gato? El Gato, do you want to be on YouTube? You probably saw her come in, but... He's, he's this wild kingdom out here. Do you want to be on YouTube? No. El Gato does El Gato things. Um, uh, Forgotten Sons, they are not going to win way too soon. They just debuted. Miz and Morrison will take back the tag team belts. And that's all I have. Because I think that's all the matches we're going to have. But that makes sense, though. Because the Money in the Bank match itself, that's an hour. Braun Strowman Bray Wyatt match, if that goes 15, 20 minutes, including the entrances. So that's an hour 20. Bailey Tamina's 20 minute match. An hour 40. Drew McIntyre. Taking on Seth Rollins. Even though it shouldn't be a 20 minute match, it will be. So that's two hours. A good half hour, 40 minutes for the tag team four way. So that's two hours, 40 minutes. That's about the right time for this show. And then there's going to be a pre show match. I have no idea. Pre show. Who knows? There'll, there will be a priest show match! And that will be my bonus. There will be something. I have no idea who. I think the only reason is because I'm not listing a pre show match is because Sheamus and Jeff Hardy face off on SmackDown. Unless they carry this over Sunday, that might be on the pre show. Who knows? Jeff Hardy said, listen, I want to jump off the top of the roof. So, who knows? That would complete his stuff. I'll keep that list there. See how I do. 
I don't know if there's any other matches. Listen, I'd like to say muy muy bueno. Y gracias por favor for watching this show. Even though it's not so good at times. It does get better though. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And Hobo Tom will be back tomorrow to talk about and review SmackDown. Because tomorrow's Red Wine and Pizza Friday. And now, because it's Thursday, it's past 9 o'clock, Cerveza time. Hola! Uh, buenos dias. Bye.